What's up everybody, Corey with Freaky Tall Reviews here. If you've been following this channel, then you've seen a couple of videos on chirp wheels. These wheels are great because they have seriously helped alleviate a lot of my back problems. And today, Chirp has actually sent out a new series of their wheels and also some resistance bands to take a look at. And while I'll go ahead and say that these wheels are great, they are not for the faint of heart as these are next level wheels compared to the original ones. I've loved Chirp wheels since I first reviewed them a couple of years ago because they aren't like normal foam rollers. These wheels are designed with an indention where your spine sits, allowing the cushions to give a deeper massaging roll up and down your spine instead of just a flat surface that doesn't allow for the curvature of your back. And I've been using foam rollers since I used to play football and I even used to do it with just bare PVC, but that's extremely painful. And since I'm not that tough anymore, these wheels have been great because the cushion has held up very well over time. And while I have had some concerns for the larger wheels in the past, not feeling comfortable with my weight of 350 50 pounds on them. Now, I personally haven't had any issues from this weight capacity, but I have seen comments from folks who shared that the 12 inch wheels can sometimes break under the weight. So definitely be careful when using them. And I will say that the smaller wheels can handle weight a lot better. Now, the wheels I have today are much different than the traditional chirp wheels. I've reviewed the original wheels as well as the XL version, which is double in width for stability. But these new XR wheels are in a league of their own because they have specially designed cushions to apply more focused pressure when in use. Right off the bat, you can buy these separately, but it is better to consider the three pack to save for the bundle. Also, if you are interested in these wheels after this video, there are links in the description that you can check out for yourself. But this new series includes the 10 inch, six inch, and four inch wheels. I'm actually really glad to see Chirp focusing on the 10 inch size for the larger wheels instead of the original 12 inches that came in the first ever three pack, because not only does it seem a lot more durable, it also has a smaller curve to its circle. So it allows it to dig in a little bit better than the bigger wheel would do because there's less surface area for your back to lay on. The 10 inch has what are called acupuncture massage points that press deeper into your back. It still has the same same spinal canal, but the additional spiky padding really gets in there to break things loose. And I find this wheel to be the sweet spot for less pain overall and easier to get down onto with my 610 frame. And I do also like how the spikes kind of mimic fingers digging into your spine like you're getting an actual massage. And I know they look squishy on camera, but when your weight is distributed across the wheel, they work in unison to disperse the load, allowing these spikes to dig in instead of just being crushed by your body weight. But with that said, I'm not really sure how long these cushion spikes will last. I've been really happy with the padding from the original wheels, but that's a a flat surface, which makes it difficult to tell if it's going flat or not. With these spikes having so much more body weight concentrated on them, I could see them wearing out, but so far it's held up pretty well. Now the second wheel is the six inch not needing thumb massage. Having a smaller wheel size of six inches means that it's really going to press into those bumps into your muscles, which will really break some things loose. Now to be transparent, this wheel definitely hurts when being used, so be careful on it. But I will say that it's the type of hurt that means you're tenderizing your muscles, not because something is wrong. I actually like this one a lot because it massages very well, but I don't necessarily look forward to it because of how effective it actually is. Now for the last wheel, I actually found out the hard way that I was using it incorrectly. I didn't look at the instructions online or in the included pamphlet and tried it on my back. I immediately thought, nope, this one's just too painful and small to use. But then I went online and realized I'm actually kind of an idiot because it's meant for your neck and you're not supposed to put your body weight on it. But the four inch neck and headache wheel is designed with special foam nodes to press into the base of your skull and massage the back neck muscles that so often accompany headaches. And I actually found it quite relieving once I realized how to use it and it quickly became actually one of my favorite wheels that I've ever reviewed from Chirp Wheel. So I really like this four inch one. And part of it is not only because it's effective, but it's also not as painful because it's not as much of your body weight coming down on it. It's just your head and neck laying on it. And so before we talk about the resistance bands, I do just wanna share my overall thoughts on these wheels because I personally appreciate what the pain means when it's digging into my back. I actually like these XR wheels quite a bit. They dig in a lot more than the original wheels and I think I'll be using them more often, but I will say that if you find the original wheels too painful to use, then I would stay pretty far away from these XR wheels. While I like them a lot, I definitely recognize that they're not for everyone. Now, before we talk about the resistance bands, be sure to subscribe because Chirp is sending out another juicy product that's not even available yet, and you wanna see it here first. In an effort to step outside of just the back wheels, Chirp has been creating other products that target different areas of the body as well. And just earlier in 2023, they actually released a three pack of resistance bands that I also have here to review. These bands are made from 80% polyester and 20% latex silk and woven together to help prevent pulling hair or skin. And this is a problem that I actually have quite often when I use the rubber bands from a place like Rogue Fitness. Now, unfortunately, I don't see an actual resistance in pounds. They are just marked light, medium, and heavy, but I will say the materials and resistance are good quality. And while I do like the way that they look and feel, I don't know that I can fully endorse them for big and tall audiences, and I'll explain why. The bands are great to help you stretch. As bigger people, we often have issues getting into position and reaching certain parts of our bodies because of how far we have to go. But I like these bands for things like hamstring stretches where I can't reach my toes or to warm up my shoulders for 
for workouts because I can more easily get a good stretch from behind my back. But as far as working out with them, my legs are too long for these size of bands. I have a 38 inch inseam, so when I put these bands around my knees and move them apart, I don't have the same range of motion as a normal person, so I can't fully work out my leg muscles. Same with squatting. I can't get a good squat from due to how far apart my knees go. And so I will say that while these aren't really a go for me, if you do like them and think they'd be a good addition to your workouts, I can attest for their quality. And I actually think $30 is very reasonable for these and not that bad of a price point. The problem is just that I'm an outlier with my size of 6'10", and so these really aren't built for me. But I hope you liked today's video. And if you did, it would be great if you could give it a thumbs up. And I'd also love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And if you plan to pick up any of these Chirp products, I really like Chirp and that's why I continue to bring them to the channel. And like I said earlier, I did put links in the description. And while these are affiliate links, they don't add any extra cost for you, but they do help support the channel financially on the back end. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and join the Freaky Tall family. But I really appreciate your time and spending some of your day with me. Again, I'm Corey with Freaky Tall Reviews. I'll see you next time.